Okay, I'm going to try to make it another. <laughs> Alright. Oh, she Good game. Hey. You know, on Oral Roberts' um, video, uh, that you, that on the thing, the video that you did about, you know, it, it just hit on so many points. Uh, his, his, when he first started out, he, that man had the goods, but through all the everything, you, I mean, through all the videos that you know, the TV ministry thing, if you started watching, you wouldn't even begin to start seeing where he started veering off, and he, and he got off on, on all this other stuff, that it's like, where'd that come from, you know, start preaching another gospel, but anyway, that uh, it goes to show you that I think God, you know, usually has people like that, you know, around or allows them, and He not only allows them that that ground, that time to repent. You know, He gives them that, but also they serve as a reminder to us, as a visual lesson on this is where you're not supposed to be. This is not what God called us to be. Okay, you know, you got all these fancy pants preachers out there and stuff, and they don't understand you don't need all that. But it goes to show you that it has to do with greed. But, you know, I really hope that Oral Roberts uh, had, you know, in the end, I hope that he did repent. Uh, you know, it goes to show you, you know, you can't serve two gods. You can't serve riches and money. I mean, you can't. <laughs> uh, you can't serve riches and God. Okay. I still think I'm asleep. But anyway, I, that's that's what I wanted to you know to just just talk about was people to stop to think about these people who 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 do all these things out there and he's got all these big fancy things the thing is they're they're like a visual a lesson uh, even paul had some problems with some people they was out there some that was out there preaching the gospel from love you know wholeheartedly while others was doing it out of selfishness or envy or greed and different things but paul said he still praised the lord anyway because of uh you know the the gospel of Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus Christ, was still being preached. <laughs> so I guess uh, whether some of the motives, you know, what is, is through greed or what, you still praise the Lord that they're still preaching Jesus. But there's but there's some of them out there makes you worry because some of them is no longer preaching Jesus. <laughs> they're they're preaching something else just totally. You know, they started accepting this New Ageism stuff in there, you know, and it's like, man, mm -mm. So, anyway, you know, we need to be wholly committed to the Lord, you know, wholly committed. And, uh, and anyway, I hope that you're wholly committed that every brother and sister that's listening is wholly committed and we stay wholly committed because, hey, let's look and see what happens to those out there. Now, some of them, you know, they can't live forever. Well, they can, but they can't. Not in this body, they can't, okay? Not in their body, they can't, all right? And eventually, one day, uh, their body is going to die. I mean, it's it, they're going to die, all right? So now... See, now they have either two places that they'll spend eternity in. You know, right? So, I mean, persons should think about, you know, that we're we're not gods. We're not immortal. But uh, if we're faithful to God, though, if we're faithful and true to Him, and we really love Him with all our hearts and souls, then one day... Our bodies will be changed from what is mortal to immortal. 
Isn't that wonderful? That's a wonderful promise. No more death, no more sicknesses, no more disease, no more corruption. You know, you don't have to look around in the, the body to see the, the specks and stuff. Uh, you know, the, you know how when we get old, like even like me, <laughs> uh, they got like liver spots and stuff, you know, and all this, you know, come up age spots, some of them call them, but well, just think, with a new body, you won't get that anymore. <laughs> but um, anyway, just to say, get back on the subject there, you know, um, we need to, to watch and understand and, and pray for uh, Oral Roberts' family, by the way. And let's, because I think that's a, it's, it's a terrible tragedy for a family to lose a loved one, no matter who you are. But uh, these serve as examples, okay? So let's keep all that in mind. And uh, let's always make sure that we have the right choices made. You know, are we serving wholeheartedly the Lord? Are we serving wholeheartedly the world in all its things? So that's something we need to really examine ourselves on. And we need to be committed to the Lord if we're claiming Him as our Lord, our God, our Savior. So, all right, that's my say. God bless you. Hello. Bye-bye. <laughs> Take care, my friends. God bless you. I hope.